Let's relax a few minutes and take a look at two new John Deere rotary choppers. There's the new 5 foot 15A for average acreage growers and the new 6 foot 16A rotary chopper for larger hay acreage and row crop growers who want wider coverage when chopping stalks. The popularity of rotary or flail type choppers came a few years ago when farmers began switching to mechanical pasturing. You may call the system bringing pasture to the cows, green feeding or zero grazing. Thousands of cattle feeders and dairymen are pasturing their herds mechanically. That is chopping green feed daily and bringing it to the cattle in the feedlot. The trend toward mechanical pasturing developed on sound economic reasons. Farmer tests and agricultural research studies show that beef and milk production per acre of pasture could be increased as much as 50%. There are other advantages. Farmers using mechanical pasturing are getting greater use of their machinery because the choppers and wagons run daily when pastures are green and the chopper's versatility keeps it busy chopping stalks, chopping brush, making bedding and handling other jobs. Farmers are increasing the carrying capacity of their farms. In some cases they're almost doubling their herd size. For example, 70 acres of green chop feed will carry about 68 cows, whereas it takes about 135 acres of pasture to do the same job. Some feeders are further increasing their herd by expanding vertically, that is raising tall forage crops such as Sudan grass. Mechanical pasturing eliminates considerable fencing. Fence rows and odd shaped fields can also be used more efficiently. It's easier to supply water to cattle kept at home in the feedlot, easier to keep the animals under observation and control. What's more, manure is conserved and put where you want it, not where the animals drop it. John Deere 15A or 16A rotary choppers are particularly well suited to mechanical pasturing because they're simply designed, easy to maintain, ruggedly built, and their cost is considerably less than a conventional type forage harvester. The heart of the new 15A or 16A is its new rotor, equipped with two rows of specially hardened, curved, free-swinging, double-edged, easily reversed knives. Although simply designed, this precision balanced rotor cuts cleaner because the knives in one row overlap the knives in the second row. There are 17 knives per row on the 15A, 21 on the 16A. In this one unit, the cutting, lifting, chopping, and feeding parts are the knives themselves. After the rotor has chopped the crop, the knives lift the material into the auger housing. And the shear pin protected auger quickly moves the material to the cutter head, where the crop is chopped still finer. The cutter head is equipped with three knives, six if desired, which shear against stationary knives which are mounted in the auger housing. Material is double chopped to an average length of two inches, just right for easy storing, handling and feeding. A profitable feature of a John Deere rotary chopper is its versatility. Fact is you can keep one busy from spring through fall. Not only does a 15A or 16A make the perfect machine for green feeding your cattle, but for making excellent grass silage as well. Many farmers have found a John Deere rotary chopper and a trench or bunker silo a low cost answer to their feeding problems. With the auger door open, you will shred and spread light brush, corn stalks, cotton stalks, weeds, orchard trimmings, stubble, clip pastures and handle other chopping jobs. The 15A and 16A rotary choppers also make low-cost bedding from corn stalks and straw. Will the operator please turn the record?
you will find a John Deere rotary chopper very simple to operate. When you get to the field, just pull this pin and reset it in the operating position hole. And push the chopper over to operating position. The 15A and 16A are offset machines, so they don't run down the uncut crop. This hand crank easily adjusts cutting height from two and a half inches to six inches. Adapting parts for a hydraulic cylinder are available, so you can adjust cutting height through a remote hydraulic cylinder. Many convenience features on John Deere rotary choppers make work faster and easier. A single control crank, easily reached from the tractor seat, regulates the discharge spout and discharge spout cap. The spout moves right or left 360 degrees. This handy jack stand easily raises or lowers the hitch to drawbar height. This large hinged door opens wide to provide easy access to the cutter head. Rugged construction is another feature of the John Deere 15A and 16A rotary choppers. They're built to do a full day's work every day, season after season. Check these quality construction features. Enclosed steel cut hardened gears that run in a bath of oil as shown, high grade bearings, V-belt drive for the rotor, roller chain drive for the auger, heavy-duty powertrain, and many others. An overrunning clutch is regular equipment. A slip clutch is available as special equipment for tractors without a live PTO. Other special equipment includes contour knives for chopping crops planted on raised rows, three extra cutter head knives to provide a finer cut, long-lived chrome-plated cutter head knives and an 18-inch spout extension for use when working with high-sided wagons and trucks. Special equipment for the 15A only includes left and right wheel tread and height adapters. Only the left wheel tread and height adapters are available for the 16A. Yes sir, a John Deere 15A or 16A Rotary Chopper is a profitable and practical partner on almost any farm. They're perfect for bringing pasture to the cows and for chopping standing hay for silage. And their versatility pays the overhead. How about letting us demonstrate one on your farm?